Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, May uh, 28th. <laughs> I think it's the 28th. Uh, anyways, I've been busy this weekend so far. Haven't been able to record any videos. Um, didn't do anything Friday or Saturday. And today's Sunday, so I'm doing this video. This is a mail haul, uh, happy mail, from Doris at uh, Rose Cottage Studios. Oh gosh, I don't forgot. <laughs> How could I forget that? Anyways, um... I sent her two of my knit crates, my most recent ones. I think it was April and May's. And she sent me some goodies in return. We do that uh, pretty often. We've done it a few times. Um, because she likes using, um, I call them fancy yarns. The fancier, uh, like wool blends and all that for uh, an alpaca. Um, her tops and things that she makes. And I don't like using wool and I'm allergic to alpaca. So we just swap and she sent me some yarn and some extra little thingies I wanted to share with you guys. And then, uh, yeah. But anyways, let's see here. Tomorrow's Monday. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I have anything planned for tomorrow. <laughs> I have to look at my notes. But uh, I haven't had much time to crochet the last few days. I worked a little bit on Jessie's blanket earlier. But um, I still got some whips that I'm trying to work on. But just with the baby and life and all that, it's been hard. I've been going through stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff we got to take to our local thrift store on Tuesday when they're open to get rid of already a bunch of baby stuff that she's outgrown and um stuff that uh like I went and got her a jumper the other day and the woman who I bought it from gave me a whole bunch of baby clothes so I went through them I washed them all and then I went through them and picked out what I wanted for her and then I'm going to donate the rest um but anyways <clears throat> I digress my throat is kind of tickly <laughs> I ate some I normally do not have any allergies to peanuts but I ate some peanuts earlier and now my throat is feeling like tickly so I told Devin I was like well I guess that's it <laughs> no more peanuts for me but um yeah so if I make throat noses that's why <laughs> but uh so I'll show you the yarn first that she sent me so she sent me three of the Venice Choice in Rose Shocking should be like Shocking Rose I think would, would have been better to word it <laughs> but it's really bright pink really really bright pink I like it a lot uh I can't see the <clears throat> it's a number four worsted it's 170 yards each ball and it's 100 percent acrylic but she sent me a really pretty bright pink which i can't wait to use for something for myself and then to go along with it because i actually like pinks and grays together she sent me also i think this is also Venice choice yeah three balls of the Venice choice in silver gray and it's i think it's got the same specs it's number four 100 percent acrylic uh, let's see how many yards? 170 yards, yeah. So they're the same exact yarn, just different colors. They look good together, so I can make something cool with that. And then the other yarn that she sent me is a really pretty cake. It is a Cotton King's A World of Magic Yarn Sultan Shadow. Uh, it's 100% cotton. 200 grams, which is 800 meters. Uh, let's see here. It's a number two fine. It's 874 yards. And here it is. It's got little straight threads and things on it. <laughs> but, um, it's like pretty variegated, or not variegated, ombre purples. Different shades of purples into black. It's really pretty. Oh, I could maybe make something cool with this. It'll take me forever and a day because it's a thin yarn. <laughs> it takes me forever to work with thin yarns. But it's really pretty. I have a few cakes like this. Actually, a couple that she sent me, I'm pretty sure, that I'm holding on to. I got one that's Christmas colors. And I got one that's black and grays into white, I think. And there's an old one that's rainbowy. It's like rainbows and black that I'm holding on to to make something with. Um, I don't know what I make. But this is one of those that's it's not plied. It's like, uh, I think it's three or four strands that's just together. They're not plied at all. They're not spun together. But uh, I'm going to try to use this to make something with. We'll see. Because <laughs> usually when I try to make stuff with little yarns, I um, I give up. But she also added some fabric-y sewing extras. So first, there's two little spools of thread. Two different color green threads. They're just the little spools. Speaking of spools, I use a lot of the big cones of thread. You know, it's fat at the bottom. It's a cone. <laughs> Skinny at top of thread. It's got like seven or 800 yards. Maybe even more than that. Maybe it's 1,500. I can't remember. It's got a lot of yard, uh, thread on it. And I use it usually in just white and black because I do a lot of the inside sewing with white 
and then the outside parts of my bags I try to match colors as good as I can um, so I ordered one of those I can't remember what brand I ordered I don't think it was a Dritz I don't remember but it's one of those cone holders that because you know regular sewing machines don't um, hold cones so I just have it in a cup <laughs> a coffee mug um, to hold the thread while I pulls through my machine and it works pretty good but sometimes it gets loose or tight you know because it's not being held the right way so I ordered one of those things on Amazon that attaches outside your machine it's like I think it attaches to your table um, that holds the cone it's got this little metal thing that you thread it through so that it holds this the thread at the right height for your sewing machine just to suck it in and go on and um <clears throat> I ordered it along with some other things, some cords, because we needed some more phone chargers. We go through them a lot. <laughs> um, and I didn't even realize about the shipping time. And the cords had already come. And I looked on there, and this, the cone holder for my sewing machine isn't even shipping until the end of July. It's supposed to come, I think it says July 30th through August something. And I was like, what? <laughs> so it's going to be forever before it even gets here. And I hope that it doesn't get canceled. Because I was going to buy one last year sometime and I should have done it. But now I can't find them anywhere. I, they're not at the stores. They were on Michael's website and they're not on Michael's website no more. And I really need one of those and I can't find them anywhere. I guess if that one gets canceled or something, I might just have to try to make my own. Because it, it looks, it's a very, very, very simple thing. But um, I just thought I'd tell you guys that because I was talking about thread. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, she also sent me some jelly rolls. One's a full jelly roll and one I think is like a partially used one. And they're really pretty. Jelly rolls, if you're not in the fabric world, are... It's basically like yardage prints that is cut into strips that are varying widths. These, this one, I think both of these are two and a half inches. They look about two and a half inches. Um, usually people make like uh, quilt tops with them. But you can really make anything to, with them because you, you can sew them together to make sh uh, striped bags kind of like Terry from Yarn Joe Podcast does. Um, you know, you just sew them together in any way you want to. That's what that is on that yarn. It's the threads from these because now it's all over my lap. Little tiny threads. Um, but yeah, so she sent me like a half used one that she probably used some, but it's really pretty prints. Let me show you. Oh, it's kind of blown out, but it's like really pretty floral pink based. Just really pretty prints that I can sew together and make bags with. And then uh, she's got some little strips here. And then she also put some really nice quilt clips on there. And I love the ribbon that she tied it together with. It looks like uh, measuring tape. I'm going to save that and use it for something. That is really cool. I want to start, um, like I like junk journals, but uh, they're so like complex to make them. I, ha I still have my Halloween one that my friend made me, Phyllis. Um, and I'm going to start using it this Halloween. I'm going to try to go back and get pictures from Je all the Halloweens from Jesse's past <laughs> and put in there. And then I'm going to start putting them from this year you know, on. And as the kids grow up, I'm going to use it as like a Halloween photo album for the kids. Anyways, I want a junk journal, but I don't want to make a junk journal. And I don't really want to buy one because they're kind of expensive. But um, what I used to do was I used to collage journal, which is where you take pictures out of uh, magazines and books and things and you glue them all together and then you like journal around them <laughs> I used to do it all the time before I even knew what that was I did that as a kid just because uh, I liked pictures and magazines so I think I might start doing that again and I was, thought I was gonna might save this and put this in there because it'd be pretty added on there it's a pretty big piece too because it's tied in a nice bow but it's such a pretty ribbon I love it but uh so there's that one and then she also sent me a full jelly roll and it's called Rainforest by Jenny Byer and it's 40 pieces and this one I think it does say it's two and a half inches yeah it's two and a half inch strips that was this year I got fibers but it's really pretty blues and greens I haven't opened it yet it's like sewn together with like I don't think it's twine it's like straw I think it's straw this is what it is <laughs> but it's just really pretty these are gonna make really pretty bags if I make bags with them I have some Halloween jelly rolls that I bought at Walmart <laughs> that I've had for years. And my plan was to make um, table runners with them. I've just never done that. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So uh, I might try to do that this Halloween. Make one for myself and then maybe make a couple to put in my shop. But uh, these will eventually be something either in the shop or just for my personal use. Because they're so pretty. But um, I don't know. We'll see. But those are all from Doris. Rose Cottage Studio. There you go. I remembered it now. I knew there was another word. I just always forget everything. So I got the cool uh, jelly rolls, the two little threads, which I could put on my thread rack thingy. 
and then the pretty cake yarn that is cotton and then the acrylic pink and gray <laughs> so I got a good little haul from her uh, I really like it I really enjoy trading with her because I know that she uses the yarn that I send her to make all kinds of pretty things with and then she always sends me cool things in return and uh, I think I got the better deal this time because I don't, I don't want to say anything but these jelly rolls are usually very expensive and this one does have a price tag on it so um that's you know that's a lot of money but I, I know that the yarn i sent her is technically valued at a lot but i didn't pay for it i got it for free um so i feel special that she thought to send little extras for me but i still have she sent me a bag one day i still have it in there of um a bunch of christmas prints that she i guess she pre-cut to make something with and then never made it um so I'm going to use that eventually to make some, maybe sew them together to make uh, patchwork looking bags or something. I don't know. I haven't really dug into them. I looked at them a little bit, but then I just put them up because I knew I wouldn't be messing with them for a while. So I'll probably put these things in there with it. And uh, we'll go to town using these eventually on something. <laughs> but I'm super excited to get stuff like that. It's nice to get stuff that you can actually use in the mail. And I've been so blessed uh, for the last few years. People sending me fabric and stuff that they no longer need. Um... And it's helped a lot for me to make bags to help support my family. So it's really cool when people send you things that's useful, you know. Instead of just random things. Now, look at my lap. Look. <laughs> that's what that was on that yarn. It was uh, the little threads from the cut-ins with the pinking shears. So yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> it looks like confetti. But yeah, so I'm going to hop up here and get this edited. My hair's all messed up. <laughs> and, um... I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow in another video. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, especially to all the people who have family members who served in any of the military branches um, and lost their lives. Which is what Memorial Day is for. A lot of people get confused between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Memorial Day is in honor of the people who served and died. Veterans Day is in honor of the people who served and are still alive. Well, thank everybody who has served. And thank everybody who has family members who have served and lost their lives. And if you're having Memorial Day shenanigans, be safe out there. I know in the South, at least, it's the beginning of summer, usually Memorial Day weekend. So there's going to be a lot of boaters and stuff um, this weekend, probably already. <laughs> uh, so I hope everybody's staying safe and having fun and not drinking too much and eating all kinds of good grilled food. And I'm pretty sure we'll probably go to my in-laws tomorrow. Usually my father-in-law cooks out on Memorial Day. But I probably won't get in the pool. <laughs> I'm going to wait until like June to get in the pool because I want the water to be nice and warm. <laughs> And uh, it's been kind of chilly here. It rained a lot last week, so I don't want to be freezing to death. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess I'm going to hop off here and get this edited. I got a couple whips. I'm working on the blanket. I am working on a Stitcher Library um, whip that's taking forever. <laughs> and I'm still working on my sweater. I've only been able to put a few rolls in it because um, of life. Do I have any other whips? I don't think so. Yeah, so I've been trying to move stuff around to make stuff fit better from the baby because <laughs> she comes with a lot of stuff. But a lot of the stuff that she has right now, we won't have in less than a year. Um, her jumper, her swing, her walker, all that kind of stuff will be gone when she gets bigger. Uh, so I have a ton of clothes. I got I got a box in here in Jessie's closet I got to pull out because it's got her next size up clothes. I need to dig them out because um, she got long legs. <laughs> yeah i'm just talking now <laughs> i'm gonna hop off because i think i hear her waking up in there Devin is in there with her but uh i'll go in there anyways <laughs> and i got a mississippi roast in the crock pot right now it's getting done it's been in the pot, crock pot all day but it's a really big roast <laughs> we got it on a good sale so um it's taking forever to cook but hopefully it'll be done soon i'm gonna put potatoes in it about the last hour or so so they can get cooked yep that's what we're gonna eat tonight is um, Mississippi roast and tomorrow Devin's gonna make a pasta dish if we don't end up at his dad's because if we end up at his dad's we're gonna come home with all kinds of food because <laughs> he always cooks a lot of food but I'm gonna hop off now for real and I'll see you guys in another video hopefully tomorrow for sure probably Tuesday for sure for sure Wednesday because I always do watch work on Wednesday I've only missed I think one or two of those since I started um but yeah so I'm gonna hop off here and answer that. I even did watch her work on a Wednesday, the day that I had June. <laughs> she she was born on a Wednesday morning and I made one that morning talking about it. So that's pretty good, I think. But I'm gonna hop off here for real and I'll see you guys in another video. Let me know what you are making for dinner because I always like to know. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye guys.